What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna break down how to avoid getting emotionally attached prematurely to a girl who you're talking to. All right, so this video topic was inspired by an email I received from one of our subscribers and it goes like this. Hi Alex, I hope you're doing well. I have an issue when texting girls. I get emotionally attached and addicted to texting them and kind of start to catch feelings for them, even if I text multiple of them. For example, if I text a girl for a few days and it goes well and don't hear from her the next day, I will feel low and desperate to hear from her. How can I keep texting girls without getting attached and being distracted by them and without having this emotional roller coaster? So this is a very fair question. I think a lot of guys feel this to some extent, you know. Uh, maybe not to this extent, but I've heard a lot of guys say, oh shit, you know, she doesn't text me back, it's fucking driving me crazy, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what's the solution here? A few things I wanna mention. First of all, stop being sold so easily. So usually when a girl goes on a date with a guy, even if the guy's attractive and charming, you know, she's interested, but she's not completely sold yet. She's a little hesitant. She's a little bit of a skeptical buyer. That's what you wanna be. You wanna be a skeptical buyer. And it's one of those things that's a little bit easier said than done, but if, for example, I was to get you, you know, 20, 30 girls who are hitting you up every single day because they want to date you or have sex with you, right? You wouldn't go into these dates, you know, the 21st date by being super needy and you're like, yeah, I need this girl. You'd be a lot more like, okay, cool, she's hot. But what else does she bring to the table? And you want to kind of reverse engineer that mindset that celebrities or other high value guys will have. So that's the first thing. The second thing is having a purpose and hobbies outside of girls. So if you have multiple things that you're working on in your life, then you're gonna be less likely to have that emotional roller coaster because you're busy with other shit. The chicks, you know, getting a random girl that you know nothing about comes in second place, it's not first place. So a lot of guys, the problem is that you just don't really have that much going on. Maybe they're in a dead end job they don't really care about, that's not gonna be enough to distract them. So you really need a purpose in life. Like for me, I can tell you, working on my business and the YouTube channel takes priority over whether a random girl responds to me or not. It's almost at a point where like sometimes I go days without checking Tinder or whatever and then I just like don't get back to girls. So it can, you, you can take it too far. But generally speaking, like when you have something else distracting you, it takes away all the pressure from you texting a random girl. And as a result, when you feel less pressure, when you don't feel like you have to get that result, you're actually your text game and your overall game is gonna be a lot better. The third thing I wanna mention is neediness. So a lot of times, it's not really the guy's like super, you know, attached to the girl, it's just that he's needy. He's needy for that validation from the girl, right? And guys get, you know, needy and seek validation just as much as women do. They just do it in different ways. The guy wants the woman to validate him as a person, that he's a good guy, that he's the kind of guy that you he has sex appeal, he's the kind of guy that you know can get girls, blah, 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 blah. So what do you do here? Well, I think the first thing is you need to have a mindset shift. So instead of seeking validation elsewhere with a girl that you know you know nothing about to you know have her validate you, and I guess the ultimate form of that validation would be her having sex with you, right? But then you're always gonna have ups and downs because naturally part of the game is that some girls will reject you. Some girls will go on dates with you, they will not sleep with you. Some girls will not give you the time of day. That's part of the game, right? So instead of seeking validation from the external results, start seeking validation from your actions. So for me, if I take the right actions throughout the day, like let's say I'm out and I see you know, a hot girl and I'm nervous by approach her anyway, if I don't have a good outcome, I still sort of feel a little good about myself. Like, fuck yeah, I did something that 99.9% .9 of the guys won't do. So again, move away from seeking validation with external results and look at terms of seeking validation with your actions. Now, the best outcome is that you don't seek validation at all and that's called self-esteem, right? But you know, if you don't have their shift it from the external results to your actions. Those are the big things, so if you guys can make these changes, you will feel less needy when you're texting girls, you won't have these ups and downs. And like I can say from first-hand experience, when I first got into game, it's fucking brutal. Like you're, you know, you're waiting for a text and it's like, fuck, you can't even focus on anything because you're like, fuck, is she gonna text me back, is she gonna text me back? If she texts you back, you get this like big high, but if she doesn't text you back, you get this big low. It's basically like a drug addict, when you're on drugs, you get this big high, but then when you're off them, you get a big low. So you want to find a nice balance where you can take the priority in your life off texting these girls. And again, by doing that, that will actually make your texting and your overall game a lot better. 
All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable. Show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification. Once we get to 100,000 subs, we're gonna have an epic party that all of you are gonna be invited to. Also, if you have questions or there's a topic that you wanna see me make videos on, some questions you guys have, just let us know in the comments and I will make a video about it if it's something that we haven't talked about already. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.